expected series of cash flows. Okay. So before we had an $8 million investment and then an $11 million net cash flow to equity here. And now what we're showing is an $8 million investment and then 750000 give or take, dollars in cash flow to equity over each year. And then as of the end of year five, we get an $11 million cash flow. So our net cash flow is $5.9 million. Now, the calculation we did before, where we said the return percentage is simply the net cash flow divided by our invested capital, this is now reading a 75% return. And what we said before is that, well, if the transaction were to only span 12 months, and exactly 12 months, this return amount is going to be identical to the IRR. But now, since we are spanning multiple periods, in this case 60 months, we're going to see that there is now a difference between the two. And so one thing that we can do when we look at a series of cash flows is don't just calculate the IRR for the entire cash flow stream, but create a line in your models to look at the IRR as at the end of each period. And 